I found myself homeless after suffering a mental health crisis. And within like the first day of going into the hostel, I tried to take my own life because I just did not want to be that. Chloe's this amazing poem. We're taking both <laughs> my story and Chloe's story and we're making it into this fantastic sort of poem of shared knowledge of homelessness. And go. What is it you want this poem to say? The way I describe it, it's like standing in the middle of a busy motorway. Life is just stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck on survival mode. So true. Our life passing us by. Like passing me by. <laughs> Invisible. <laughs> Invisible. When you were like an yeah. animal. I am an Arab in the jungle. But we are the architects of our own future. You, you hold, hold the, the key, key to seeing our humanity. humanity. Cat scene. Ah, got me. Yeah? OK. One second, let me take this gum out. I lived a hidden homeless, so I wasn't on the streets. Nobody knows about the hidden homelessness that just because you're living in a hostel, you are still homeless. Interesting talking to someone about it that's experienced the hostel thing, because a lot of the time, yeah. like, my friends and stuff, they don't, they're not they don't understand. They don't understand, yes. It is basically like being imprisoned. Not just living in this place where you don't really want to be in, but you're imprisoned in your mind. So you've got all these people in this environment with all these issues and you're having to deal with all these different personalities. We are the wild, living in captivity. Screaming, you would hear the shouts and you'd hear the arguments. We are the homeless incarcerated in this human zoo. I aren't your problem if you can't see me, right? But it's not that you can't see me, it's that you don't want to. You're supposed to go in there broken, but you come out of there more broken. Okay. These systems do not work. You can't break out of a broken system. So true. Write that down. Write that down now so you don't forget it. You can't break out of a broken system. I became the customers to their brutality, trapped in buildings filled to the brim with self-destruction, no way out. This system, our only safety net. Yet it is poisonous. You can just pick one at random from the pile and hold it up and then... I was two versions of myself. Outgoing Danny, laughing, joking. Then there'd be the isolated me who was scared of her own shadow, who walks in the doors and a creak will, like, scare me. That isn't safety to me. Safety to me is calm, relaxed, and being able to put down my walls. We will not hide anymore. You can't erase or contain my existence. 1625 are a absolute phenomenal charity who have worked with me since I was 21. They sort of saw that I was worth something. They helped me build my roots. Now that I'm out of the process of being homeless, I've got a home, I've got a roof over my head. I'm safe. This is your personal space. Take ownership of it. We are reclaiming our power. I can't perform with my shoes on. You're reclaiming your voice, reclaiming your power. Power is mine! Power is mine! Telling our own stories, we stand here no longer in fear of being seen for what we are. We are worthy. We are worthy. We are worthy. We are worthy. We are love. We are invincible. We, we are, are powerful. powerful. We overcame the impossible. Homeless people aren't subhuman. We are superhuman. Superheroes in disguise. Ready, ready to, to change, change the, world. the world. Do you see me now? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yay! <laughs> Remember when we were shouting, we have the power. Yeah. We now have the yeah. power. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't share often with people but I've shared some of it with Chloe, which has been lovely.